Welcome back to Afternoon Express. It's always a fun time in the kitchen on a cook along Tuesday. Now, they say that variety is the spice of life, and which we agree is why today's dish is all about the variety with a lot of spice. We'll be preparing mouth watering roasted veggies and a spiced rice with a twist. And because this is a veggie based dish, it means that not only are you eating healthier, but your wallet will be a little healthier too, because Vitality members get up to 25% back on their healthy shop. So if you want a list of all the ingredients and a link to this classic recipe sent to your phone, then all you need to do is SMS the keyword EAT to 33650. SMS is a one round 50 each and no free SMSs apply. And remember to keep your device with you in the kitchen while you cook along with us, because we are streaming live on YouTube. And if you get stuck along the way, then I mean, there's two chefs here to help you. So give us a call on 021 430 Call me. <laughs> okay, so how good are you in the kitchen? We know that you know how to make a mean cocktail. Food-wise? I'm very good. Oh, really? Oh, wow. And what is your, what, what is your palate? What do you enjoy? I love, I'm a seafood person. I okay. love seafood and um, I love vegetables. Like I'm a vegetable oh, Today is perfect. just for you. Yes, like I'm this so is God sent. Yes, I'm so <laughs> pleased we knew that. <laughs> okay, how do we get started? Okay, so we're going to start on the rice because that's going to take the longest to cook through. So, big pot, just because I've got one. The trick with rice is actually to use a pot that has a very thick base. Yeah, okay. As soon as there's any uneven cooking, you get those hot spots and you get like uneven cooking with your rice or even burning. Mm -hmm. So a nice thick solid like base pot like that is going to do just the job. Amazing. But we're going to actually season, there's a bit of um, olive oil in there. Mm. We're going to season the oil first. Oh, okay. Season the oil? Yes. Like so, spice it? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I'm a chef, honey. Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. so, so we've got some cumin seeds going in. And I'm not going to crush it. I want to keep it nice and chunky, right? Okay. So you can go ahead. You can add. It's all you. you uh, like you would do at home. Okay. Cumin seeds going in. I was going to add some nice earthiness to the rice. We're also using brown rice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, healthy. The, more than just healthy, it's also about the texture that's in there. Let me see. Jeannie's like, ah, times yeah, well, I, want to, I want to know what cumin smells like, <laughs> so that when I taste it, I'll be able it. to go, mm, that's cumin, and then yeah. it'll sound like a real foodie. People will think I know what I'm talking Perfect. about. <laughs> there we go, that's great. And then some smoked chili seeds going in. So the thing about um, seasoning the oil first, so the oil absorbs all that flavor from all the spices we're using. Then as soon as you add the rice, the rice, just, you know what, that's fine. I, sh I do that. I take the whole thing off. Oh, okay. Because, I mean, for Mozambique, you, you, you play with spice, don't you? I, I play with everything. Yeah, yeah. There She's we go. So get that in. They don't even, yeah. Oh, look at me. <laughs> look at me. Oh, look at me. <laughs> Simply look at me. <laughs> well, the chili is new. That we know. Okay. You can go to the onion seeds along while I open this for you. So onion seeds are really great. And I don't new think we use it seeds. enough. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. okay. So the onion seeds, they don't break down. They stay crunchy. Yeah. Black. I've never They're seen black. onion seeds before. What are these? Do you want to taste it? Ooh, damn. Can I taste I'm it? Not scared. Okay, I didn't mean to do that, oh, but, <laughs> but it's okay. It's hot in the kitchen today. It's okay. going to be, it's a really hot in the kitchen. Okay. Let's see, what is Jeannie? Tell me exactly what onion seeds are. Oh, well, it's kind of the, I don't think it, I think it actually are the seeds can you taste from the onions. onion before, yeah, you can taste this raw. Mm, before it flowers. Yeah, before yeah. it like germinates and it becomes an onion. What are we no. thinking? So does it taste like onions? Yeah, we can put more. I mean, as it is, this is the world's spiciest rice bag. You know what? <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Oh, how's that theory? So when it's really hot in summer, if you eat really spicy food, it cools your body down? I don't believe that. Is that a fact? <laughs> yes, but it's like drinking tea as well. They say when it's really hot, drink tea. I don't believe, you don't believe that. that. Well, I was in Morocco and okay, Egypt now, yes. and it was so, so boiling hot, and everybody there was drinking boiling mint tea. tea. Hey. So perhaps that's to bring their, their body temperatures down, yeah. maybe. Probably. And also, test it out. I've been drinking mint theory. tea before I go yeah. to bed, and apparently that's a no-no, because there's caffeine in mint. I yes. did not know that. Well, how do you sleep after you have the tea? Uh, <laughs> one eye open. With a twitch. <laughs> I didn't know that. So there's caffeine in mint, so don't be drinking. That's why I drink mint tea in the morning. Yes. I didn't know, guys. Mint's that. really good. It aids digestion, though. So if you have had it, if you've had quite a big dinner early oh, enough, okay. do drink mint tea because it actually settles your stomach. So if your stomach's really? feeling a little bit unsettled, mint tea is the thing to have, but just not too late because it'll keep you away. Yeah. But it's good for your stomach, Clem. Uh, I'll, yeah. I'll just it keep on doing it. It's good in the morning. <laughs> All right, yeah. let's see. Yeah. That's great. So that's, now you're gonna kind of like you would toast a borea rice with a risotto. Get the oil all over the rice. Make sure it gets nice and shiny. 
I'm, I'm gonna so turn good. the heat down. I, I like how you're totally on it. Yeah, you're so <laughs> on it. Do you mind if we just like let you do all the cooking? We just keep on cooking. She's, she's, just a, just w- no, she's <laughs> a wonder in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the rice is gonna get going. That's fine. Just like that. It's gonna keep on boiling and simmering, and that's gonna start doing its thing. Lid on. Okay. And it's going to keep on steaming. Okay, so I just would like to recap what were the spices that you put in the olive oil before you added the rice? Cumin. Cumin. Mm-hmm. Onion seeds. Chili. Yes. Chili. Okay. We're going to add salt and pepper and water. I did. That's it. Did you? Guys! <laughs> yeah. no, I'm going to close it up. Guess who's not paying attention knows. today? <laughs> me. I think you may potentially, we'll taste at the end, okay. see if you are going to be the best guest on our cook along. Okay, okay. So far you are the one who knows the most about being in the kitchen. Yes, yes. I do. I'm, I'm that hot. <laughs> you are <Yes>. that hot. <laughs> We continue with our delicious meal after the break. Remember, you can call us any time during the show if you've got any culinary questions or if you want to speak to our amazing guest, Wanda. She's here taking your calls. 021-430-9881. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back to Afternoon Express, and of course we are in the kitchen for our fantastic Tuesday cook-along with our sensational guest, Wanda. Now, if you want a list of ingredients and a link to this classic recipe sent directly to your telephone, then <laughs> telephone, nobody calls it that anymore. <laughs> 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 SMS is the keyword heat, double three six five zero. SMS is charged at one rand fifty each and no free SMSs apply. Remember to keep your device with you in the kitchen while you cook along with us because we are streaming live on YouTube. And if you get stuck along the way, obviously our lines are open 021-430-9881. Give us a call. And if you've got any questions for the sensational, sensational wonder, then yeah, we're online. Okay, so rice... Yeah. Done. It's doing its thing. How okay. about these chickpeas? chickpeas? So, chickpeas are next. I said at the beginning of the show, we're going to make a little crisp chickpea bits. So, a yeah. great alternative to replace croutons. So, if you're looking for a healthier option, this will work really well. We were talking about both hogging the corn bar snacks yeah. um, when we I go even out. Lick my fingers and I sometimes quite embarrassed because I'll ask for a refill. <laughs> this, if you're going to make it at home, is probably a bit of a better solution. So, it's nutritious. Something really nice to keep so that you don't keep on reaching for the chip bag, but also a great accompaniment to this meal. And we're going to use, we said we were keeping it spicy, we're using smoked paprika for these, which is probably one of my favorite spices. But Mm. if you're feeling brave, like I know Clem is today, you can go ahead and absolutely add, add, add normal paprika or cayenne pepper to that. So that goes in with our chickpeas, a little bit of olive oil, and just a note to make sure your chickpeas have been drained really well, because we want them to go to go crispy and have a really nice crunch. And then obviously we're gonna season this sea salt and pepper going in, and then some lemon zest. So the nice thing about this is if you wanna make this a herb thing, get a whole selection of always dried herbs, mix it up, crush it with salt, and you could actually just have herbed chickpeas if you so wish. What a great, so amazing th- idea. This Ooh. flavor combination is obviously just going to pair really well with our rice and with our harissa paste roast veggies today. But go ahead and just mix it up however you wish. And we'll give us a good stir. And this goes into the oven about 15 to 20 minutes until yeah. it's done and roasted and golden. And it's literally that simple. So whenever you're hosting, make a whole batch of this and put that out mm. in little bowls, which I think yeah. is quite a cool new solution. Yeah. Yeah. And it's as simple as this and a little bit of heat. I tell you, I realized now when I was in Morocco, it's my favorite way to eat. Spicy and like those Mediterranean, mm. Middle Eastern yeah. oh, kind of yeah. foods. And spicy mid- and sharing. Yeah. So yeah, that they everybody eat together. Shares, yeah. Mm. When you, and, and eating with your hands. When you eat with your hands, everything <laughs> tastes better. <laughs> but especially when you don't have your own meal, when everybody shares, That's it nice. starts conversation. It's interesting. Yeah. It's amazing. We've got a caller on the line. We've got Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi. Hello. How are you? What's your question or comment? Um, I was wondering. So cute. Yeah. Um, how, I was, Kim, Hi. how do you make milk tarts without using milk? Well, are you not going to use milk because of the lactose? Are you allergic to lactose? Yes. Okay, so I would totally use um, a, a lactose-free milk. That's perfectly fine, so you get a clover, no lac milk. Why don't you try using a rice milk or almond milk to make it instead? And that could also be pretty great. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, guys, I'm, sure I'm trying to hide the fact that I, I've inhaled chili and I'm dying right now. <laughs> <laughs> but Hannah, totally. Use almond milk, use rice milk, or use um, clover no lac. You'll be perfectly fine. Thank you so Thank you. much for the call. We love hearing from you. Hope you're well, Glenn. Hope, Hope I'm well. well. <laughs> I'm dying. Okay, I'm quick between the face. Okay, cool. Those go to the oven for yep. about like 20 minutes, come out nice and crispy. Yeah. And you want the shell to kind of pop. Okay. okay. There's an outer shell on there. Once that pops open, you're winning. Then okay. you know that it's crispy. Amazing. Now let's talk about the veggies. In here, I've got to butternut, it's two sweet potatoes. I've got an orange one, a normal like yellow flesh one. Mm -hmm. We went shopping for the Woolies bulk. Um, option promo at the moment so it's four of those big you've seen them four of those big promo yeah. bags for 125 you, and they last forever I'm right struggling to eat it this is what you're gonna make okay. and you're gonna invite your neighbors <laughs> over and go. they want to be happy <laughs> so spicing things up a little bit of olive oil going in here okay. guys I am worried about how much like chili I added to that rice really yeah how did you inhale it did you lift uh, this and smell well, I, I was also gonna say be careful about don't, it. how about we don't open it how about we don't open it no i'm so d I'm, it's like I, you know when somebody says don't look were here. you a naughty child <laughs> were you honestly a naughty child Never, Jeannie? i'm an angel I oh no guys good. no it's fabulous yeah you okay cool it. you you basically need a teaspoon Jeannie's of cement me. maybe and harden up i'm being a wuss <laughs> Jeannie just said it okay cool Olive Ooh, oil so in there, some Arista space, nice Arista space, Arista spice, nice and spicy. Made us peppers, mm -hmm. garlic, a lot of garlic, chili in there, some spices in there. Also very North uh, North African, love it. Put it on everything, mm -hmm. everything, everything. So it's what nice is Arista? Mm. It's kind of a, essentially it's a mix of different things. Okay. And Arista recipes differ wherever you travel okay. in North Africa. This is like I said, a simple one with red, red pepper that have been roasted, garlic, chili, Ooh. a few spices. You would have tried a version of it in Morocco as well. They kind of yeah. change the yeah. names as well a bit. Then again, another thing quite popular in North Africa, pomegranate, so this, is, this is a concentrate. So we can't so the flavors right now. This is nice and spicy, slightly acidic. This guy, have you tried this? No. Okay, I'm gonna let you try this. Okay. It is sweet and sour is at the same alcoholic? time. alcoholic? Is it alcoholic? No. no. Give it but to you me. know what? <laughs> Let me double check. There's no, no. All it is is literally pomegranate juice okay. that has been reduced. You're not, you're, you're not drinking? Don't you drink? All right, cool. This is safe for you. Don't worry. Can That's I tell you something about pomegranate? You know, Clem and I always joke that I'm a wealth of useless information. Woo! That's good, eh? It's got that fire. Whoa, what is this? <laughs> okay. So pomegranate, you want to put pomegranate oil on your face before you go to sleep. Okay. I mean, you wouldn't ever tell that I'm wow. 62 years old. Oh. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> okay, so this is going to get we're glazing our butternuts now as you would meat, right? So we'll talk about like, glazing turkeys or glazing oh. chickens. It's going to go into the oven and then every 10 minutes you keep on glazing. Glaze. It's going to come out so lacquered, so delicious, so amazing. That with this rice, which you're going to add sultanas to in a minute, with those chickpeas, Ooh. I'm done. Oh. Good. Mm -hmm. Glorious, actually. This is amazing. This is going to be really delicious. So you're joining us for dinner. I am. We're going to make you perform for us just no to like, cover as the cost. As long as I get food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your entrance fee. So dinner is sorted. And to get the ingredients list and link to this recipe sent to your phone, simply SMS EAT to 33650. And if you want to see how we put this dish together one more time, here is a quick recap. And all this Moroccan music now, <laughs> just take me back, baby. Now it's time for dessert after the break as we make a delectable chocolate brownie pie. Mm. Just for Miss Chaco over here. <laughs>